Hello guys, welcome back to Sedix Rabbit. My name is Sedix a young and passionate rabbit farmer here in Ghana. So today's video, I actually want to share with you guys some of the myths that farmers have been telling new beginners or some misconception in rabbit farming that no one else talks about it. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. And I hope if you watch this video, you'll be able to clear up your mind from some of this myth that has been told to you guys, especially the beginners as well so if you are new to the channel you are highly welcome if you are already a member of this channel you are welcome as well rabbits will not feed their kids if you touch them okay so most farmers will tell you that if your rabbit gives birth you shouldn't touch them with your bare hands or else the mother will not feed them because she smells your your you know your scent on the rabbit kids so she will think that the kids are not for her or something like that so she will not feed them that's not true right that's a myth that has been going on for a very long time if your rabbits give birth and you you feel like you yourself you don't want to touch them then you can get a glove you know to just pick them up and put them inside the box you know if she just littered on the wire mesh so that's how you can do that or you can get a rubber to put it on your hand just pick the kit up put it in the next box and have your nesting material inside so that the, the rabbit's kit will, will be warm enough okay so whenever you go and buy female rabbit or pregnant rabbit you know then the farmer will tell you that if the rabbit gives birth you shouldn't touch them that's not true okay you can touch them if you want right make sure that your hand is washed your hands are cleaned before taking them the second thing is when female rabbit is left with the back she will be pregnant okay now this also has been going on with the beginners right so they, they leave the female rabbit to the male rabbit for like a day three days you know to tell that yes yeah, she is absolutely pregnant right when we were kids we were used to doing that right where we went to get our rabbit the woman told us that okay if you want the rabbit to be pregnant then you have to leave the female with the male for three days at times it works but you know it's not advisable just a 15 minute interval you can get to have three follow-up from the male and that's it you should never leave the female with the male right if she gets exhausted she can just fight with the male and end up killing the male you know or destroying his testicles right so you should be careful you should be really really careful when you want to breed your rabbit just bring it in the morning or in the evening when the weather is cool you put it inside get your first fall off you take it out then you wait for the second fall off you know with a 15 minute interval and that will be great number three is you should start rabbit farming with grown-ups rabbit okay now this is also another problem with most beginners right when they want to start the rabbit farm they will get a, a seven month old do to start with you see or a, an eight month old do which has already been given birth before or something like that you know i will never advise you guys to start rabbit farming with grown-ups okay if you want to start the rabbit farming you know on a higher scale or average then you can start with four to five month old rabbits okay so four month old do and five month old back so once the do gets to six months by that time the male too is matured enough you know by seven months the male is matured and you can get to breed them okay you starting rabbit farming with grown up will bring you a lot of problem you know some problem is you know miscarriagement or um, abortion or premature birth right so when you start with the young ones you will get to feed them you know they will get used to your environment you see so that when you breed them the environment will be conducive for them to be able to give birth and look after the kids but if you realize that you buy a pregnant rabbit from someone the farmer will tell you that oh yeah the rabbit is pregnant meanwhile you are you've not asked for any record right but if the farmer says okay the rabbit is pregnant then you will just buy it you wait 30 days 35 days the rabbit is not giving birth then you start you know asking questions about the rabbit you think that maybe she is there she is there something is wrong with her or something like that so i would always encourage you guys to start your farm with young rabbits at least four to five months old is enough for you number four is rabbits can eat everything so you should feed everything okay this is also one problem most farmers are facing right so when you go for the rabbit the farmer will tell you that oh you know these rabbits they are ruminants so they eat everything like every 
you know every leaf out there they eat it you know so you also jump into the bush you know whatever you find you just get it for the rabbit that's not how rabbits live okay that's not how they live if you you then you don't take precaution and you go get some you know um harmful leaves for the rabbit they can end up dying okay you wake up one morning then you just see that your rabbits are all dead you know meanwhile you got the grass that they did not need you know it was harmful to them that's why they died okay so make sure that you ask for each and every grass you have around you take a picture if you have a whatsapp group you take a picture of the grass and just ask the members right is this leaf good for the rabbit if they say yes because they've been using it right so if they say yes then you can feed it to the rabbit don't be listening to you know farmers like having things they are giving to the rabbit so they can tell you that okay this thing is good for the rabbit meanwhile you don't do your research on it before giving it to the rabbit okay it can cause you to lose your rabbits so you should be careful number five is rabbits can survive without water okay now this we've been told before when we were younger we've been told that rabbits can survive without water because in the wild they don't usually you know take much water but they feed much on the grasses and the hay right so we all end up you know not giving the rabbit water frequently you know once in three days then we give the rabbit a water you know that okay as they say that the rabbits can survive without water then we can you know go for a long time without giving them water which is not it is not good right for you to be able to make your rabbits grow bigger and healthy they need much much water all right they need much much water even though with the wild you know they are used to their environment so once it rains or if they have a small pond right there they can just go drink some water and they can you know just stay on that water for a very long time but with these domesticated ones they are inside the cave so everything you must be providing for them okay so you need to be giving them water so that they can grow bigger and healthy number six is rabbits can eat kitchen waste right now this with this we've been we've been doing it before right we've been doing it before we were told that uh, rabbits can eat kitchen waste you know so we started giving them some of the rices the leftover and some of the cabbages you know which is somehow good but with the rice and the um some food you know people eat and they give their leftovers to the rabbit to you know feed on it is not advisable it is not good so you should not do that because it has no you know benefit to the rabbit they just take it you know they just take it it has no benefit to them so you should never feed your rabbit kitchen waste or they can end up eating something you know from that kitchen waste and end up losing your rabbit or maybe your pregnant rabbit can abort your kid you know so you should be careful with that as well number seven is rabbit depends only on formulated feed now this is another myth you know new beginners have in mind so they think that once they have the formulated feed then the rabbit does not drink anything aside from water okay so always if you have it on a small you know on a small scale or having it on a commercial scale you need to always provide your rabbit with greens you know hay some leaves around plantain leaves uh purple leaves and also the tridax the paragis and other you know edible grasses to the rabbit so that they can reach their full potential they don't only need the formulated feed to grow bigger and healthier you know in the wild they mainly feed on the grasses right so as they have been domesticated they should also you know have a taste of the greens as well so that they can grow healthy number eight is rabbits will not get pregnant with one fall off okay this is another problem most beginners are facing because they've heard that rabbits need a three fall off four fall offs to get pregnant so that's what they think is the right thing to do right because i know a farmer who uses just one fall off you know to get his rabbits pregnant and they do conceive as well at the period of 30 to 32 days he gets his litters right so no matter how many fall off you need from the back the rabbit can surely be pregnant with one fall off with two fall off with three fall off the rabbit can get pregnant so most of the times the reason why we exceed you know we exceed the number of you know three to four is that we want to confirm that the rabbit will surely get pregnant 
all right so because some people don't trust their backs some people don't trust their backs right so they think that one fall off will not be enough at least three fall off can always confirm that the rabbit will get pregnant number nine is pregnant rabbits can be medicated now this is another challenge for beginners you know they don't know that pregnant rabbits should not be medicated in any means right either organic or you know oral or injection rabbits should be medicated a week before breeding them right so that they can give birth to healthy kids right so yes i understand with beginners you can be asking some of these questions to you know members of groups so that they can help you with it but do not medicate your rabbit when they are pregnant and also some of the grasses we see it's for organic purpose you should you know minimize it when giving it to them so that you avoid you know aborting the kit of the rabbit number 10 is rabbits can be bred by sizes okay now this is another challenge beginners face or intermediate farmers they, they think that okay once they see the size of the rabbit they they do that okay this rabbit is ready to be bred okay which is not the case because if you look at some breeds like the flemish giant it takes a long time before breeding them even though by five months of age they become bigger but they should get to at least seven months before they can start breeding okay so don't always depend on the size of the rabbit before you breed it okay just know the age of it and make sure that it is healthy before breeding it at least by six to seven months you can just start to breed them the number 11 is rabbit nesting boxes should not be placed anywhere in the cages now this is one thing most people don't know like most of people don't know that rabbit nesting box should be placed very well inside the cage to avoid uh mother the rabbit should be peeing or you know pulling on the kids okay so once you see that this is the place your rabbit usually stands to pee and also poo then you know that okay you then you then put the nesting box the opposite way okay so if you want to do this you can be placing your feeders at one corner of the cage right whenever you want to feed them make sure that you put the feed at one corner all right so that if they eat you know they usually you know pee and poo whilst eating right so when you have your feeder at one corner then they will be pooping and also urinating at the corner right which will give you the advantage of placing the nesting box at the other side of the kid now this is my experience this is what i've been observing you know with my rabbits okay because some of them are pregnant so i always make sure that the, the feed is at one side of the cage so that when the time is due to put the nesting box i'll put it the opposite way to avoid any distractions okay so you can do that as well and i know it will help you a lot you should always make sure that you ask if you are curious about any feed or any food you want to give to rabbits just ask questions right and you know members of groups will help you to answer that right so that you know what is good for your rabbit and avoid some you know sickness that attacks these rabbits right so with that being said yes that's what i have for you guys for today and i hope you enjoy watching this video just don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there and i'll see you in the next one peace